Hello everyone. I'm Sanket Singh. I'm working as a software engineer at Google and welcome back to my channel. So guys, aap logo ne already kuch purani videos dekhi hongi jisme maine kaafi important data structures aur algorithms ke famous interview questions ke pattern ke upar baat kari hogi. Maine already kai baar hi kaha hai ki number of questions ya volume of questions se zyada aapko is cheez pe dhyan dena chahiye ki agar aapne koi ek ya do type ke question kare hain to un similar unse similar jo questions hai वो आप डायरेक्टली सॉल्व कर पाए या एटलीस्ट एक सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट ऑफ इंट्यूशन बिल्ड कर पाए इस चीज को करने के लिए सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट क्या होता है कि पहले तुम्हें वो पैटर्न्स पता होने चाहिए जो काफी फ्रीक्वेंटली इंटरव्यूज में पूछे जाते हैं सो so दैट ऐसा ना हो कि तुम एक ही पैटर्न के कई सारे क्वेश्चन करे जा रहे हो कई सारे क्वेश्चन करे जा रहे हो एंड देन यू रिलाइज के सब कुछ सेम था बट देर वॉज ऑलरेडी सम अदर पैटर्न एज वेल तो इस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो में मैं मैं ट्रीज डेटा स्ट्रक्चर के काफी सारे पैटर्न के ऊपर बात करूंगा जिसपे आप बहुत ही ज्यादा फ्रीक्वेंटली इंटरव्यूज में क्वेश्चन आते देखोगे मोर और लेस जो आपके लीड कोड की प्रॉब्लम होती है वो इन्हीं पैटर्न के आसपास रिजोल्व कर रही होती है ऑफकोर्स कुछ एडॉक प्रॉब्लम्स भी होंगी जिसमें आपका काफी एडॉक लॉजिक लग रहा होगा या फिर मान लो दो तीन और एल्गोरिदम्स का इंटीग्रेशन लग रहा होगा बट मेजोरिटी लाइक एटी फाइव टू नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इन्हीं पैटर्न में के ब्रैकेट में एक्चुअली लाइक कर रही होती है अगर आपने ऑलरेडी मेरे पुरानी वीडियोज नहीं देखे हैं जिसमें मैंने स्टैक्स लिंकलेस बाइंड रिसर्च इन सारे डेटा स्ट्रक्चर और एल्गोरिदम्स के पैटर्न के ऊपर बात करिए सो डू चेक इट आउट राइट so without any further delay let's just start and let's start talking about the different patterns that you will find in the trees data structure so guys before starting the video i would like to tell you about the new front end development with react js advanced course that we are launching on algocam.io so guys आजकल इंटरव्यूज में ना सिर्फ तुम्हारे डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एल्गोरिथम एल्गोरिथम के स्किल्स को टेस्ट किया जाता है बल्कि तुम्हारे डेवलपमेंट स्किल्स को भी टेस्ट किया जाता है जिससे ये पता लगे कि हाउ गुड ऑफ एन इंजीनियर यू आर एंड रिएक्ट इज वन ऑफ दोज टेक्नोलॉजी जिसमें इस टाइम पे आज के टाइम पे बहुत ज्यादा इंडस्ट्री में डिमांड है बहुत ज्यादा जॉब अवेलेबिलिटीज है एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग रिएक्ट इज वन ऑफ द टॉप स्किल्स दैट यू कैन गेट दैट्स वाई एल्गो कैम्प पे आई हैव लॉन्च अ न्यू कोर्स अराउंड एडवांस फ्रंट एंड डेवलपमेंट विद रियक्ट जेस जिसमें तुम बिगिनर लेवल पे फ्रंट एंड इंजीनियरिंग को स्टार्ट करोगे बेसिक्स ऑफ एच टी एम एल बेसिक्स ऑफ सी एस एस एंड देन यू विल स्टार्ट विद एडवांस एच टी एम एल एडवांस सी एस एस एंड देन वी विल स्टार्ट अवर जर्नी इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड देन रियक्ट एज वेल ये कोर्स बिगिनर से एप्सोलूट एडवांस लेवल पे तुम्हें लेके जाएगा एंड इन फैक्ट ताकि तुम्हारी इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन में हेल्प भी हो हम लोगों ने इसमें डेडिकेटेड इंटरव्यू प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग का पार्ट रखा है जो हम लोग फ्रंट एंड की इंजीनियरिंग इंटरव्यूज को और उसके क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करेंगे तुम देख सकते हो हम लोगों ने इसमें ट्वेंटी से ज्यादा मिनी प्रोजेक्ट्स फाइव प्लस मेजर प्रोजेक्ट्स और दो कैपस्टोन प्रोजेक्ट्स रखे हैं तुम वेबसाइट पे जाके कोर्सेज डॉट एल्गो कैम डॉट आई ओ स्लैश लर्न स्लैश फ्रंट एंड डेवलपमेंट विद रियक्ट जी पे जाके तुम पूरा का पूरा करिकुलम पढ़ सकते हो करिकुलम हमने इसी हिसाब से डिजाइन किया है कि अगर आप कल को एज अ रियक्ट डेवलपर जॉब करते हो तो ऐसा भी हो सकता है तो कि आपको पुराने कोड बेसिस से इंट्रैक्ट करना पड़े और ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि आपको नए प्रोजेक्ट सेटअप करने पड़े तो आप दोनों तरह के सिनेरियोस के लिए रेडी रहो इसलिए हम लोगों ने काफी सारी इन डिमांड टेक्नोलॉजीज लाइक टाइप स्क्रिप्ट नेक्स्ट जे एस रीडक्स रियक्ट जे एस डिजाइन पैटर्न कंटेनर सी आई सी डी और काफी कुछ इंक्लूड किया है तुम पूरा का पूरा करिकुलम यहाँ पे जाके देख सकते हो इट्स अ प्रिटी एडवांस कोर्स पांच से छह महीने कोर्स चलेगा एंड यू विल बी गेटिंग फिफ्टी फाइव हंड्रेड डेज वैलिडिटी यू कैन यूज द कूपन कोड फ्रंट सेवन हंड्रेड टू गेट अ फ्लैट सेवन हंड्रेड रुपीज ऑफ और भी इसकी काफी सारी डिटेल्स मैंने ऑलरेडी एक वीडियो में डाली हुई है आई विल लिंक दैट वीडियो एंड आई विल लिंक द कोर्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन बिलो डू चेक इट आउट एंड नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू आवर वीडियो सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट कैन बी सम कॉमन प्रॉब्लम्स दैट यू विल डेफिनेटली फाइंड इन एन इंटरव्यू ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ ट्रीज ओके सो इन द स्टार्ट ओनली आई वुड लाइक टू सेग्रीगेट वन कंप्लीट सेक्शन ऑन डीपी ऑन ट्रीज सो देर आर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दैट आर आस्ट ऑन डीपी ऑन ट्रीज टू बी वेरी ऑनस्ट दिस वन we can explore more better when we'll talk about dynamic programming right but if you have ever heard of uh, of some of the famous problems right for example the diameter problem right now if you will watch tutorials people treat that diameter problem as just like a normal tree dfs problem but if you will go to the core crux of how exactly the di diameter problem is solved that's purely dp right so if you will uh, like try to go over some comparative programming platform there will be a problem of longest path in a tree that's actually the diameter only and that's a pure dp problem and there are more similar dp problem so uh, dp on trees can be considered as uh, one complete different section problems like vertex cover camera lot of problems are there on dp on trees and to be very honest if you have a good gist about dp 
then dp on trees is not that difficult to be very honest because it's just plain dfs and then you try to memorize stuff apart from that there is a dedicated part where you have to do serialization and deserialization of tree now what is serialization deserialization i'll just go very quickly on that let's say if you have to send data on the net over the network right now generally let's say you have a data in a very pretty complex fashion right let's say uh, there is a tons and tons of data around some movies some text the images and everything then you can't just send that whole data directly on the network right you have to actually convert it into some transferable form that means you have to actually serialize it just think about it let's say if you have the data stored in the form of a tree now you have to send that tree somewhere else maybe over the network you can't just send that whole tree data structure over http right you have to convert that tree maybe into a string or something that is transferable over the network that's called as serialization that is converting your data in a particular format that is recoverable the recovery part is called as deserialization that once you receive it on the other end you recover that same tree data from that string maybe so there is a whole set of problems that comes around serialization and deserialization of trees right it's a pretty simple problem to be very honest right it's not very difficult but people try to uh, like people if they have never tried this problem might miss this in an interview as well then there are a lot of problems around lowest common ancestor and distances so there are there is a concept of lowest common ancestor that is if there are two tree nodes what's the closest ancestor for them now based on this lowest common ancestor a lot of problems are actually solved that is if let's say you want to find the shortest path between two nodes in a binary tree that's a pure lowest common ancestor problem right so you have to actually figure out how to find lowest common ancestor to be very honest lowest common ancestor as a concept doesn't only exist for binary trees it's a generic tree concept right uh, you can find lowest common ancestor with other techniques as well but for interview preparation those comparative programming techniques like sparse table and everything are not that important you just need to find lowest common ancestor maybe just using dfs and then based on that you can solve a lot of distance based problem right that directly comes in lowest common ancestor do check out a lot of problems are there on lead code you will directly find them then there is a dedicated set of problems around iterative travel so traversal so generally people just solve dfs and bfs and inside dfs they solve pre-order post-order in order right but then in interview it becomes tricky if somebody asks you to solve the same pre-order traversal iteratively or in order traversal iteratively so there are a lot of problems that comes in the iterative part of pre-order post-order in an order traversal there is a problem where you have to do pre-order post-order in order all together in one shot in one read of the tree that's also something that you can do iteratively right uh, so there are a lot of in order uh, i would say in order successor in order predecessor problem that can also come pretty close to iterative traversals so this is also segregated out as one pattern that i have kept then the level order traversal that is the bfs this comes as its own pattern because there are a lot of problems of level order traversal for example the basic level order traversal the zigzag level order traversal average of every level in fact later i have also talked about view based problems that is you have to calculate right view left view that also can be solved using level order traversal right there is a very uh, famous problem on uh, lead code where you have to actually uh, put the next right pointer there is a problem of next right pointer it's also pretty close to a level order traversal although you have to do a bit of more stuff but you actually try to convert one complete level into a linked list and that's how you solve it so it can also be uh, solved using level order traversal so level order traversal can help you solve a hell lot of questions and as we have already introduced views let me talk about views so in views there are a lot of views that is when you look at the tree at a particular point how does it look so there is like a right view a left view a top view a bottom view right then there is a boundary view like if you see the boundary and so on there is a lot of view based problem that you can get and in fact like based on this view based problem there are other problems can be solved now this view based problem can be solved using both dfs and bfs but based on these view based problems there are more problems that you can solve so there is a problem of horizontal traversal or a vertical traversal of a um, i would say tree that's also be solved using these view based concepts only if you know how to solve the top uh, top view and the bottom view then that vertical order traversal problem can be very easily solved there is a problem when you have to find the maximum width of a tree that's also a direct application of top view and bottom view so these things are actually pretty important so these view based problems can come up then there are a lot of construction based problem which are kind of similar to serialization deserialization but they have their own set of uh, challenges for example you will be given two traversal pre order and in order you have to construct a tree or maybe you have you have been given a pre order of a tree and based on that you have to construct a binary search tree 
so you will be asked to construct the tree right so they will be serialized in some form and you have to actually deserialize that and construct a tree one thing to note that for a normal general binary tree only a single traversal might not be sufficient because from a single traversal multiple trees can come up but in case of a binary search tree if somebody has given you a specific type of pre order traversal or an in order traversal then you can still do a lot of things there so a lot of construction based problem actually comes up and there are some advanced construction based problem for example you have to do some kind of conversions as well for example you have to sometime convert a linked list to a binary search tree or a doubly linked list to a binary tree these kind of problems also come up i have categorized them in construction only because uh, at the end you have to construct a binary tree i would highly recommend you to actually try all the type of construction based problems because these are the most asked interview problem like convert linked list to a binary search tree these kind of problems are the most asked interview problems then for binary search tree and binary tree there are problems around re removal and trimming so these are a bit tricky in case of binary search trees in case of binary trees you can't find a single direct solution for for binary search tree you have to maintain the actual definition of binary search tree right so the removal of binary search tree or trimming some particular part in a binary search tree can be a bit tricky now these are not generally asked a lot in an interview but later if you will learn the concept of tries and everything and let's say if you are doing any uh, competitive programming problem at that point of time also you will realize that these removal based problems are important for example uh, a lot of try based problems sometimes suffer from a space constraint in that case you have to actually do some removal from the try that's where these removal techniques that you have if you have learned earlier can be really helpful right then there are dfs based problems these are pretty simple i would categorize all of them as easy problems for example symmetric tree mirror of a binary tree right maximum in a binary tree minimum in a binary tree you just have to do a some kind of a dfs traversal and things generally work out for you right so these i would say are all easy problems like for very basic companies people might ask you uh, maybe sometimes you might find these kind of problems in microsoft and everything but these are relatively simple problems and at last one quite hard set of problems that comes up is order statistic problem that is you have to find the kth largest element maybe in a tree or k closest element to a particular element in a tree these kind of problems are pretty important and here i missed one thing the binary search tree based searching problems are also pretty important so you can actually check out these order statistic problem and order statistic as a, uh, exist as a category it's not like it just exists with trees for example if you have learned about the quick select algorithm that's also an order statistic algorithm heaps can help you to solve order statistic algorithms so these are uh, kind of like a subsection that you can find in trees because in trees also people can ask you order statistic so if i would be you and let's say if i have an interview let's say in one next one week i would definitely practice a lot around the order statistic based problems construction based problems right and these iterative traversals lca and serialization deserialization why not dp on trees because dp on trees can be a bit tough in the initial part and if you have very less time constraint i won't recommend you to spend a lot of time on dp on trees because it's more important that if you are good at something be better there instead of making your below average thing good right because there might be a case that somebody if i ask you a problem on dp on trees and you have never practiced it or you were practicing it but you were never aware about it you might not give your best shot in an interview that can actually happen so these are some pretty common tree based problems that you can actually see i have categorized them uh, in my best possible manner if you go to lead code you will realize 90 80 to 90% of lead code hard comes in db on trees 80 to 90% of lead code medium comes in this part and 80 to 90% of lead code easy comes in this part right so this is the general segregation that you will see so of course i also recommend a lot of people to practice more medium and hard problems so medium problems of trees are relatively very simple do try them out i would like to mention one more thing that i have seen as a recent trend 99% of the people who are practicing trees generally uh, construct trees such that you are given a root of a binary tree right and then based on that you have to solve a problem and to create this whole binary tree they generally take a these construction based problems Uh, so let's say you will be given a pre order and in order and you will construct a tree something like that nowadays for making tree problems difficult there is a new pattern of problems that comes up where you have to construct a tree using arrays now this is something that not a lot of people discuss and a lot of lot of people know you can construct your trees using arrays how is that so you will be given an array right where this array will be actually storing the value at each node 
right so for example the zeroth node is having a value 10 first node is having value 2 so on and so forth these kind of problems and then there will be another array where for every ith index this will actually tell you the parent of the ith node right so you will be having the value at each node and you will be having the access to the parent of the ith node and then you have to construct a tree and solve the problem but this becomes tricky because not a lot of people practice this kind of a stuff i first encountered this kind of problem where i have to construct a try using arrays right but general binary trees a uh, normal binary tree binary search tree or a generic tree can also be constructed in this way so i would highly recommend you to actually try this problem where you have to construct a tree once you construct a tree and you have the access to the root all of these problems are easily solvable but generally if this comes in an interview and you have a let's say a 30 minute time period then i have seen students not able to actually solve the whole problem this is pretty important not a lot of people talk about it so i would highly highly recommend you guys to actually try this out so i hope ki aapko video badhiya lagi hogi you must have enjoyed the video if yes then please don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any uh, i would say ideas any thoughts any doubts do drop them in the comment section below we will try to reply to as many comments as possible if you want more such videos then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well and share this video with all of your friends taki hum bhi is channel ko kafi zyada scale kar paye and spread all of these meaningful and useful information to as many students as possible that being said is video ko yahi pe wrap up karte hain hum log milenge next set of videos mein till then take care guys bye bye i am sanket singh signing off